Hey, good day, everyone. Thanks, Mike, for that. Uh, good day to everyone in the audience, and thanks for tuning in. It is amazing. Um, it is really amazing to have been able to witness the growth of Chainlink over the past four years, and even better to have participated in the ecosystem for the last year. So really, it's a pleasure to have to be here shoulder to shoulder next to these influencers uh, and this, these people with high influence within the industry who, and whom I look up to. But without further delays, my name is Ivan, and I'm part of the team that are working on and expanding reputation.link. Reputation is a critical function for thrustless environments. The ability to apply a scoring system to oracles will provide a sustainable and consistent data set to inform business intelligence and commercial decisions. Reputation.link occupies a unique market position to inform community, node operators, and smart contract developers to illuminate important uh, quality, reliability, and performance indicators that ultimately serve a more robust ecosystem of decentralized applications and protocols. Through the creation and maintenance of the open source transparent and uh, transparent data visualization platform, we provide insight in the performance of oracles and data feed contracts within the Chainlink space. And for anybody who knows reputation, who knows reputation.link, you might share an opinion with us. Um, we need an update. It is to be said, however, that when we entered the market, we were solving for a niche subset of the problem with Chainlink at the time, and Chainlink has evolved. Um, so from run log aggregation to flux aggregations and recently OCR, um, and we grew to support that as well. We were solving for a problem that was needed back in that day. The addressable market for Chainlink, however, has grown exponentially, and now it's our job to visualize all, all of this. So we decided to do something about it. The platform we built. So one of the big news is our new user experience that is in beta. So please check it out by going to our website, reputation.link and clicking on the little beta platform uh, link. Otherwise just go to beta.reputation.link and check it out. We're going to get more into this later, but I just wanted to let you know, get a quick sneak peek uh, at this product that as we, continue evolving into the future. Now, engineered over the last many months uh, is a streaming pipeline that we're confident will scale us well into the future. As shown as a show of like a small show of the scaling that we've done so far, we now support a number of different number of networks and we will be readily adding to it in the coming weeks, in most cases, as soon as Chainlink is on them. So please check it out at beta.reputation.link. Well, we all know how reputation started bartering, markets, the news, essentially word of mouth. It's a peer-to-peer -peer means of information transportation that has served us throughout the ages, back in the medieval, medieval times, all the way up to now. There are caveats to it, however, which is it's, there's no centralized database, uh, and it's typically categorical and subjective in nature. Moving forward into modern times, however, we have new means of social communication dynamics, and still, reputation scores influence a great deal of our everyday life. To the means of central aggregation of opinions, reputation has a quantifiable value that can more widely create economic incentives. There are still few caveats to that, however. Um, it's still categorical and subjective, sub subjective in nature. And there are very few threes if you've ever used um, an eBay-like entity. Uh, ratings are usually quite reactionary uh, and present bias. Reputation is an extremely important problem space to solve and needs to continue to evolve into the trustless future we envision. That is the reason we exist. That's our raison d'etre. Let's have a quick overview of use cases of reputation within the Chainlink ecosystem. For anyone that has gone through the process of becoming a Chainlink node operator, you would have... Yep. Uh, for, sorry, sorry about that. For anyone that has gone through the process of becoming a Chainlink node operator, you would have had to experience a 10 to 12 step process. Um, if you had seen the PowerPoint right now, uh, you'd see the little, little dots over there that's representing the difficulty, but uh, it's something that's labor intensive, time inefficient, and we can solve for that too. We believe reputation can solve for that too. We can go from a 10 step process to something that's more akin to two. Let your performance do the talking. This will lead directly to DONS, decentralized groups of oracles, who can use reputation to determine which oracles may participate in them, uh, reward distribution, and as well as many other aspects in the network. Next was the chain link nodes, keeper agents, and other on-chain entity that derive 
on chain that derive on chain income completely. And consequently, they can leverage their on chain transparent revenues and performance and perform base reputation values. Not only do they have this data, but historical performance can be quantified in these lending agreements. As the number of solutions grow, uh, whether it be protocol, market, or blockchain level, the number of applications in the ecosystem will continue to expand. With a higher demand and new entities in the market, success should be meritocratically awarded. And we shift away from this brand-based trust and reputation into something more deterministic in nature. Reputation plays a key role in the adoption of these new entities that they enter the market, providing a means of faster, more transparent, and easier means of adoption. Now that we've had a quick overview of reputation over the times into the dot-com era and how it can be applied within a DeFi chain link ecosystem type of entity, let's overview the current features that we have to offer. Our platform visualizes transaction aggregation at a reference data contract level and allows for oracles to be compared to their peers for all Chainlink data feeds. You are able to determine the aggregation logic for the reference data contract and reveal the final answer and the accuracy as well as deviation of the oracle's response for each individual round. You can also see whether the contract has missed a round or not. So we made it pretty clear for, you know, if anyone uses multiple contracts in the dawn in the future and they need to lean out to <laughs> just remove them or you know, we don't like to use that word, but we made it easy for you to utilize these three sources. Each Oracle has a historical performance uh, of all of their past behaviors of transactions ex executed on chain. Reputation enables these historical performance metrics to be visualized thoroughly for each individual Oracle and leveraged in wh whatever way the user likes. So we will also allow for users to parse an Oracle's live transaction and overall feed the response for individual oracles from the analytics page on reputation.link. You can check that out on our beta on an Oracle profile. Finally, this over here is something that has been requested for quite a while. Um, we're providing a service data visualization after all. You're able to visualize this within our UI as well as within your own. We're committed to transparency and reputation after all. We want anyone and everyone to have access and have the ability to create reputation algorithms and be able to aggregate and display the various on-chain metrics that we collect. For that reason, we'll be releasing the beta of our free API. So please head to our website and get a free API key today. It's on the little top bar at the top and you too can create the next project that powers the ecosystem that we reside in. Now that you know what to expect from us, let's look a little bit into the future of reputation. Currently, we are hard at work building a premium monitoring and alerting service that will allow users to perform a variety of different actions, as well as be able to be notified of these actions within um, multiple platforms. So SMS, Discord, email, uh, Slack, what you utilize. So things like being able to get alerted on successful and unsuccessful transactions, your ETH node balance, the response change frequency, as well as the gas utilization fees at the time. Uh, as well as many other uh, actions that uh, will be able to be utilized within this uh, feature that will help node operators and developers in their pursuit to become the ideal Oracle. We want you to know who is the best and we want you to know who is improving the fastest. With a benefit, with the added benefit of informing the uh, node operators of how to improve, we then are able to utilize our regression analysis in the near future to create a commercially optimized feedback loop. Our aggregate data empowers both node operators as well as developers to improve their platforms. Node operators will be able to target areas to improve that have shown to increase their payout or contract serve over time. And developers will be able to, to select not only the best oracles to serve their needs, but also oracles who have shown consistent improvement over time. Statistics can be viewed for the performance of each contract type. So users can select from OCR, Flux, as well as really any future implementation that comes along the way. Uh, and these, and, and the user is able to select based upon really whatever best suits them. We'll be able to provide a payment update very soon that will include profit estimations and weekly breakdowns of weekly Oracle avenues and performance as well as profit. In addition to ranking Oracles across each network, we'll also rank them across all networks within each contract, allowing users to select the best Oracles overall across the entire ecosystem, as well as giving information to how each Oracle is performing within a contract level. This will give users the information they need to adjust transmitters to maximize their contract's performance. 
Finally, visualize your protocol security. As we aim to provide transparency and holistic visualization of the data flow within the Chainlink network, as well as within DeFi, we are working on a visualize your protocol security feature that aims to illuminate oracles and oracle feeds to highlight their security and reliability and allow users to visualize the flow from API to network to protocol, um, as well as within oracles themselves, uh, in including contract reads and any traces within each different level of connection who may, and the protocols and nodes may also want to show that their market and their product is secured and powered by Chainlink as they expand their user base. This is really exciting and we're really happy to announce that in 2021, we will finally be bringing reputation to the Chainlink ecosystem. We envision a world where users and protocols alike can make an informed decision about the oracles which they do business with and reputations relative performance ranking will truly enable this. We've created a model that is flexible and robust that allows for any sort of quantitative data to be used as an input. So that's really exciting. Um, we don't want to be the grand arbiters after all of what is valuable, what a valuable characteristic is or isn't. We want to be able to enable users to have the option to choose these inputs based upon what their needs are and hence offer bespoke reputation calculations based upon those requirements. And the reason why we do this is because different entities as well as different end users have different goals and these different goals will fulfill various markets and industry use cases. It will really be a community contributed and ever evolving model that satisfies the growing market needs. Through these free market mechanisms that we've employed, certain nodes will be able to uh, specialize really in specific niches and our reputation score will, re will reward the nodes who fulfill niches as the market demands it. Until the white paper has been released, I'm sure everyone's really excited to you know white paper when, uh, until that happens in the coming months, we urge you to go to our website's blog, Illumination or accessnews.reputation.link and read our primer on Oracle reputation and engage with the community through Discord or Twitter. This piece, the primer on Oracle reputation, truly describes our views on Oracle performance within the Chainlink network as well as outlining what comprises the ideal Oracle in our eyes. We're constantly evolving in an ever growing market. Reputation is and will be a critical pillar to further adoption and setting transparency, as well as user specific standards for both Oracle as well as DeFi and protocol level agreements. These are the building blocks guys to expand both what and why certain data is provided, how users are able to best interact with it and how those who contribute to the network uh, and the network expansion should be rewarded and benefit from the variety of use cases. So it's something that's really important, something that will pave the future of the platform and the ecosystem. For that reason, we, have, we really have one ask for everybody watching. Please scan the QR code, please join our Discord, please participate in the construction of this reputation layer of the DeFi protocol. Uh, details are on our website, so please access beta.reputation.link for more. You too can shape the future of reputation. Thank you for tuning in, and it's been a pleasure to be here. Well, thank you so much, Ivan. Really appreciate it.